Hey guys, welcome back to our Meet the Sections video series. I'm Tyler McKay, one of the chief residents. Uh, today we're going to check out the body imaging section. The body section is split up by modality, so we have four main areas that we're going to cover today. The ultrasound section, the body CT section, the body MRI room, uh, and we'll go to the GI, GU, gastrointestinal, fluoroscopy unit as well. Okay, so come on back. Okay, so we're now at the ultrasound core. Um, you remember from the last video, we came down this hallway to get to the neuro MRI reading room. Um, within the ultrasound area, we have six ultrasound units. We'll take a quick tour of them, and the reading room is located just inside here. So all of our ultrasound units are Philips brand. We've got three on this side. Uh, we can take a quick peek inside an empty room and see what it looks like. So we got a patient bed here, um, ultrasound unit, plugged into packs for instant uploading, um, patient bathroom, and everything else that they might need for various studies. If we need to fill the bladder, unfill the bladder, um, things like that. Uh, around the corner, again, we just have another room. This is more for musculoskeletal type procedures. We have our lead tech uh, chief office back here. We'll take a quick peek into this. Oh, it looks like we have two of our residents here, Milu and Anne, who are both scanning. Um, anything you want to say to the applicants? Tell them about your experience on ultrasound scanning. It's the best rotation. We learn so much from the techs. They're the experts, and you know we're just happy to work with them. So how does it actually work? Um, you know, what types of studies are you guys scanning? Um, you know, is there a lead tech that maybe teaches you most of it? Or maybe you could talk about that and sort of you guys interact with the sonography students as well because we do have the sonography mm -hmm. school. Yeah, so um, we mainly work with a tech named Sean, who's great. Um, and then we do work with the sonography students. They either are here and we interact with them or we see them a lot in the PD department and they're really nice. Um, and yeah, so they scan, we scan, um, but most of the time it's just us and Sean, and we go all around the hospital on portables, or we are in the vascular lab, um, or we go to the ED, and we get to do some hands-on scanning there, so it's been a great experience. Awesome. Today, we are on our own, and Sean has set us up with our own patients, and has been checking our work. There you go. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, just Sean. Sean. Uh -oh. We're just filming <laughs> TikTok. The applicants Sean? can't. Uh, oh. Applicants can't yeah. come in uh, for an in-person tour this year, so we're just showing them around the area and. Right. Uh, Cool. Sean, yeah. uh, it's won the, the, for all the, uh, the te teacher, teacher awards award yeah. for more than a decade yeah. every year. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Anything else to add? No, it's a great experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love cool. it. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it'll be helpful as a future IR doctor yeah. as well. Yeah, and so we, Sean's been letting me do a lot of the stuff in the vascular okay. lab, which has been great. So, uh, very exciting. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you both. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now we'll head over uh, into the reading room. We'll chat with some of the uh, trainees who are on today. Um, I think we've got Riddy right. and a couple of the fellows are on as well. You're welcome. Right, on this side, we just have, similar to the other side, three dedicated rooms. The far room on the end is sort of more of a dedicated vascular room, but it is all purpose. Uh, we do all of the ABI studies there, the pulse claim recordings. Um, I should quickly mention, uh, we do have two portable units that go throughout the hospital for patients who are too sick to come down to the diagnostic area. Additionally, we have another two rooms in the vascular lab, which is okay, located across the street in the Yale Physicians Building, which we do all of our, mostly our outpatient imaging. So musculoskeletal, the IR clinic is there, and a dedicated vascular imaging lab is located within that floor. And like anything, you know, we uh, mainly read out of this reading room. So you have a lot of pathologies from other places, but you don't physically have to be there. Right. We do also have multiple outpatient imaging sites. There's one down at Long Wharf. We've got one in Old Saybrook, uh, Divine Street scattered throughout Southern Connecticut. Okay. Let's poke our heads in and say hi. 
Hey, it looks like we've got Adrian and Aaron Hi. in here today. Rudy's not here. Hi. Uh, but we can chat with Aaron. Great. So you were a chief resident here last year, currently a body fellow. Yes. Maybe you could tell applicants sort of on how you got to Yale, why you chose Yale, your experience, and maybe why you decided to stay. Absolutely. So I love it here. I'll start by saying that I started in pediatric residency up in Boston at Boston Children's and had a change of heart about halfway through and decided radiology was the field for me. So I had to reapply, went through the match. Um, so I interviewed at Yale and fell in love with the place on my interview dinner night. I just loved the people that I met. Everybody was warm and happy and it felt like a family. And the training here I knew would be the rigorous high volume uh, that I wanted to achieve. And then throughout residency, I continued to love it. And I woke up wanting to come to work every day. And then uh, it was easy to decide to stay for fellowship. I have a family here, so to move for one year also would have been challenging, but really this was truly my first choice despite that. Um, so yeah, I'm a body fellow now and it's great. We rotate through MR, CT, ultrasound. Uh, this is the ultrasound reading room. Um, and on ultrasound, we read a really wide variety of cases. So vascular cases, MSK cases, the bread and butter stuff too. We do a lot of liver and renal transplants. You will be so well trained in ultrasound. We also have 24-7 uh, techs here, uh, which is great. So overnight, and you'll learn ultrasound again in the ED on your ED2 rotation, where you'll get more hands-on experience rescanning patients for appendix. You'll be so well trained. When you do your scanning rotation, so as a first year, you'll get some time scanning, and uh, you'll be with Sean, and he's amazing. He will teach you how to do, be a pro. Excellent. Any yeah. advice for applicants mm -hmm. going through this virtual season this mm -hmm. year? It's a totally different experience. I'm sorry you don't get to experience the city and the food that we would have served you, um, but it's really, just follow your heart. You have to go where you, you know, not where you're gonna, don't, look at like the, the textbook things and just kind of go with a gut feeling and where you think your family's going to be the happiest, where you could see your family growing. That was another thing for me. I wanted to picture my family expanding in, a, in the city that I was in and have a cost of living that was manageable uh, moving forward. So here is just a, it's a great place and I hope I get to meet some of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. We'll say hi to Adriana. Hi. <laughs> so I snuck up on you. Yeah, that's so you were good. up in Hartford for a residency. Yes, yes. Um, any particular reason you chose to come down to Yale for fellowship? Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, Yale has modalities that we don't have over there and improve my training. Vascular ultrasound here is great. Um, and yeah, just keep learning. And good people, great hospital. And I liked my interview and I, en I enjoyed the people I talked with at the interview. So. Awesome. Yeah. Any advice for applicants this year? Yeah. Um, congratulations on going into radiology. It's the best field and just try to choose a place that you know you get along with the people well, that is, your family is going to be happy with that and that's it. I don't know. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we'll come down to the other side of the reading room. I should just quickly mention there are seven workstations within the room. They're at half staff occupancy right now because of COVID times. Um, but, you know, during normal hours, they're all you know, occupied by trainees and attendings, and it's a very, very busy service. Uh, so we have Mahan, Dr. Mather. Oh, my goodness. He, uh, oh, he's been here quite some time, but currently uh, body uh, imaging section chief. He's one of the associate program directors on the selection committee. Definitely, yeah. Maybe you could just give a quick overview of how you got to Yale and sort of how your time has been here. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll be as brief as possible because I can go on and on about this, but you know, I interviewed at Yale uh, back in 2005. I applied like um, all the applicants you guys are about to apply now or you're applying. Um, you know, I applied to, I made it simple. I applied to 15 programs, five top, five middle, five a uh, little below middle. Uh, got an interview from Yale, came in, um, and I just had a, the most wonderful time during my interview day. And really that sealed the deal for me. I didn't overcomplicate my selection process too much. Um, I just had the most fun here and met a lot of great um, residents who have since become my lifelong friends. Um, so it's a pretty simple choice for me. Um, and yeah, I've been here since I started my residency in 2008. Did four years here, went one year away for fellowship, and now back for about six years 
since then. It's just been a wonderful time, uh, the, the, greatest, uh, the greatest time of this program. One of the wonderful things about this program and a, and a program like Yale is that really it allows you to explore any interests that you have and even any interests that you don't know you have, right? So when I came to this program in 2008, I really didn't know, I know I liked radiology, but I didn't know what I liked in radiology. I didn't know what I liked in medicine for that matter, really. I was still sort of figuring that out for myself. And um, I was inspired by a lot of the great teachers here. I was inspired by uh, my senior residents as well, who were just wonderful um, people and teachers and mentors. And I looked at them and I said, you know, that's, that's who I want to be when I graduate. And so slowly sort of worked with them and, and, and borrowed from them um, and then having been back here as faculty uh, one of the other wonderful things about Yale is that they give opportunities to, to both the residents and the young faculty they put them in leadership positions um, and I was very fortunate that the chair and the vice chairs have put me in these positions where I'm allowed um, to really give back to the program um, teach as much as I want um, I do a lot of work at the medical school. I'm, I'm less involved now at the medical school since becoming uh, the chief of um, body imaging, but I, I still do a lot of teaching at the medical school, do a lot of teaching at the residents, I do a lot of mentorship at the residents, and on a national level, I'm actually involved a lot in uh, committees that promote medical student education, because I think you, know, you have to sort of start at the grassroots um, to inspire sort of the medical students to go into our wonderful field because uh, it's not always very well exposed in a lot of medical mm -hmm. centers, and so that's one of the goals that, that I have. Uh, I really enjoy doing that. Excellent. Any uh, things about you know New Haven or Southern Connecticut that you've enjoyed doing since you've been here for some time? I've you know the ten years that I've been here, I spent about three quarters of it in New Haven itself. I lived in New Haven, five minutes from the hospital, walking. I know New Haven. I love New Haven. It's uh, so many wonderful things. One of the great things I like about it is that you have a lot of you know, local restaurants, local coffee shops, the museums, everything. And, and why that's important, if you think about it, is that it really tells you this is a, um, a city that fosters a sense of community, right? So, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of big chain uh, restaurants or, or coffee mm -hmm. shops like that over here. We, we, we foster local businesses, we care about each other. And so that's one of the things I loved about New Haven. Um, and then I got to explore some interests that I developed. There's biking with the Grand Prix in New Haven. They, have a, they literally go with these uh, bike around uh, the downtown and these uh, laps. It's, it's kind of uh, exhilarating, you know, races if you want to run, um, uh, lots of different sort of activities. And then one of the great things about, about living here is, um, you know, a couple of years ago, I wanted to sort of move out and explore other parts of Connecticut. So we, we bought a house in the suburbs and now I'm starting to experience a whole new side of Connecticut. So where I live now um, is another beautiful community. Again, supports local businesses, which I think is really important. But it's like five minutes from the beach and it's just so wonderful. In the summer, I've spent every weekend at the beach, at least one of the days. Um, and you know, I've grown up in a lot of different countries. As I said, I've never done that before. So every weekend I've been at the beach. It's just been a great way to sort of explore a different side of Connecticut. All the beautiful hiking trails as well um, and that's only 20 minutes away uh, and very very affordable and so those things I must admit are things I didn't think about when I applied as a resident many years ago as a lawyer when I applied as a medical student but those things have become very important to me as I've sort of grown in this community. Thank you so much we appreciate the time. Oh most right. welcome. Um, Any advice for applicants? Yeah, yeah um, this is cliched but be yourself uh, you know I, you're gonna to come to the interview, you're gonna be nervous about it, uh, and that's normal, but I promise you that every single person who's going to interview uh, interview you are, are just amazing people, they're the nicest people, they wanna see you do well, and all you have to do is just be yourself. Don't fake anything. Um, when you do be yourself, you, know, you will end up going to a program that, uh, that is suited for you. Um, so just don't be nervous, be happy. You've already done all the hard work in medical school to get this far to get the interviews. Now just show the world who you really are and um, uh, you know, you'll do great. So best of luck in this, uh, in this interview cycle. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we depart ultrasound, I just wanna make one last point I've mentioned is that um, ultrasound section does a lot of procedures here as well. So all of the thyroid biopsies or finding the operations in the hospital are done here. A lot of lymph node biopsies are done as well. Um, so you can see our schedule um, you know, for the week. Okay, uh, we'll leave the ultrasound section now and we'll head over to the body CT reading room.